Hello guys, welcome back to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will give you a basic comparison between the DHT11 and DHT22 temperature and humidity sensors. Now this on the left is a DHT11 and the one on the right is a DHT22. As you can see, the DHT11 has a blue body while the DHT22 has a white body and you can see a PCB behind it. Without the PCB is just a sensor and with the PCB board, this black board, it is called a module. Now guys, the sensor has four pins, but if we do it on the module, then we have three pins because one of the pin is not connected in both cases. Now, as you can see guys, on the right side is the DHT22. If you have both of these uh, sensors modules, if you hold them in the hand, you will notice that the DHT22 seems to be a high quality sensor as compared to the DHT11. It has better plastic, better build quality, and this is also true for the specification as well. If DHT11 is like $1, then DHT22 is $4. It is four times the cost of the DHT11 sensor. Now, what is the difference? Since it is four times costly, then why it's so much costly? Both can measure temperature, both can measure the humidity, and both have single wire interface, like single wire serial interface. Then what is the difference? Now, that is our question. Now, to answer this question, I will open the data sheet for both the sensors, modules, like this. Okay, let me zoom in so you guys can see better. So as you can see guys, I am going to use a component 101 uh, website for the data sheet. I will share uh, these, these both links in the description of the video as well. Now for, sorry for this. Now for the DHT11 sensor, as you can see, it's a temperature and humidity sensor. That is what it is designed for. Module has only three pins and the leftmost is a signal pin. Now for the DHT22, Okay, now for the DHT22, it's again temperature and humidity sensor. They both do the same and the signal pin is in the center. Left is the power, right is the ground. But this is not a major difference. Now you can see that this is for the sensor like without that black PCB, it has four pin. One is not connected. So only three are used and on the module, only three pins are used here like this. Similarly for the DHT11, there are total of four pins. There are total of four pins, as you can see, for the sensor. One is not connected, so only three are used. So on the module, there are only three pins. Now, if we go down, now these are some major specification. There is a difference in the specification. Why the DHT11 is four times cheaper than the DHT22? Now, here is our answer line. Now, the operating voltage for both is 3.5 to 5.5 volt. See, for the DHT22, it is also 3.5 to 5.5 volt. That is the same operating current for both is same 0.3 milliampere, 0.3 milliampere binding output type for both it is a serial data. Now temperature range. Now this is the range of temperature measuring that what is the range of temperature measurement. So this for the DHT11 is 0 to 50 degree centigrade with an accuracy of plus minus 1 degree centigrade. Now if you go on the right we will notice that for the DHT22. The temperature range is from minus 40 degrees centigrade to 80 degrees centigrade. So this is a huge difference. Minus 40 to 80 degrees centigrade for the DHT22 and from 0 to 50 degrees centigrade for DHT11. So it is like double. So DHT22 has double the temperature measuring range as compared to DHT11. And moreover, these both sensors only do two important things. One is to measure the temperature, other the humidity. And even if we take these both parameters, then even out of these two, the most important parameter is the temperature measurement. And for the temperature measurement, DHT22 has double range. And uh, now for the accuracy, DHT22 has an accuracy of plus minus 0.5 degree centigrade. Like it can deviate from the original reading maximum 0.5 degree centigrade, either plus or either minus. While for the DHT11, it is plus minus 1 degree centigrade. This means that the accuracy of DHT22 is double as compared to the DHT11. Now for the humidity range, DHT11 can measure from 20% to 90%. Now for the same for the DHT22, it is from 0 to 100%. Now this is also a big difference and the accuracy for the humidity measurement for both is plus minus 1%. So now you can see that the temperature measurement range is a huge difference between the DHT22 and DHT11. Now guys, the resolution for both is 16 bit for data transfer. Now the rest is like same. Now the next question is, now we know that the main difference between both the DHT11 and DHT22 
lies in the fact that DHT22 has a better temperature measurement range that is from minus 40 to 80 degrees centigrade for, for the DHT11 it is from 0 to 50 degrees centigrade. Now the next question is about the programming about the interface about the coding do they have exactly the same interface because we can see that output for both the is serial see both have the serial output protocol as you can see that both use sing, uh, serial one pin output protocol. Now it is crystal clear that both have the same output but what about the programming. Now I have videos on both and I can tell you that if you write a code for the DHT11 it will work on DHT22 but the problem will lie in the fact that if you do programming for the DHT11 and you want to only show the integral part you can show the integral part by just displaying the uh, first byte. Now if I show you the data sheet of DHT11 sensor only ok I click on this I open the data sheet of DHT11 sensor because they both have the same programming. So I will tell you the difference what you have to change in the DHT11 to make the DHT22 work on the same programming there is a little bit of difference. I go down let us go down look for the ok here it is an example now here it says that here you can see easily see in the example it says that once you have sent the pulse for the DHT11 to give you the data like you have started the sequence of getting the data the DHT11 that is exactly the same for both like you have to do exactly the same you have to send the response this signal you have to follow signal bus you have to follow for both it is exactly the same you have to do exactly the same timing diagram to get the data once this process is done then you will receive the data from the sensor in this format. Now this send data 40 byte of data. Now guys here you can see that the first byte that is the humidity high value or the integral part of the humidity this is and now the next byte is the uh, let me zoom in so you guys may have problem in ok. The next part is the low humidity byte 8, 8 bit of data then we have high temperature byte that is the 8 bit of temperature data and low temperature byte and then the parity bit. Now the problem is if high temperature byte is our integral part then low humidity sorry high humidity this is the integral part then this is the decimal part and here high temperature byte is the integral part and this is the decimal part. Now if I only want to display the integral part I only will convert this to a string and then display it on the LCD or whatever the output source I have while this seems to be true this seems to be true in case of DHT11 if you have DHT11 you can do this like and you can only display the high high byte it will only show the integral part you do not want the decimal part because the resolution is plus minus one, uh, 1 degree as seen in the data sheet so it does not matter if you show the decimal part or not. Now the same applies for the temperature if you only want to display the high byte that is the integral part then that is that is great you can simply use this byte and convert it to a string and then display it on the LCD or Bluetooth send it over the Bluetooth module or URT channel which, whatever you have. This will work with the DHT11 but now the problem with the DHT22 is that DHT22 is not plus minus 1 degree centigrade resolution it has greater accuracy its accuracy is 0 0.5 plus minus 0 0.5. Now if you want to use that sensor then you need to know that what is the decimal part is. If you want to display the integral part you only convert high uh, byte this byte uh, to a string and display it on the LCD you will only get one digit you will it will only display the one digit that is the rightmost digit while the leftmost uh, left two digits will be gone. It will be the right digit of the integral part not the left digit will nowhere be to be seen that is a problem in the DHT22 programming if you try to run the DHT11 programming rest will work exactly fine it will give data but it will only show one digit on the screen or whatever the source you have. Now what you have to do is that you have to merge these two high byte and low byte in case of DHT22 sensor. So if you write a code for the DHT22 sensor you have to merge them using a merging command like you shift the uh, high byte to the left by 8 then or it with a low byte and you get a single digit that starting from left to right first two digits will be the integral and the rightmost digits will be the decimal. So that is how you have to do it and if you write this code for the DHT22 and you want to implement it on the DHT11 then it will work as it as it is. So if you write a code for the DHT11 and only want to display the integral part that will not work on the DHT22. But if you merge both the bytes like you want the complete decimal place to be shown and that code will work on the DHT22 and DHT11 as well. 
So guys, a code of DST 22 will work on DST 11 as well. A code of DST 11 will not work on the DST 22 if you are only displaying the integral part. Because on the DST 22, it will be <coughs> it will fail to display the complete uh, data. So guys, this is the main differences. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. So we'll see you in the next video. So have a nice day until then.